to bring on our first guest here. Uh, you know, uh, when I was attempting to put together the, the best possible slate of entertainers that I could, I really uh, stretched my Rolodex, if you know what I mean. Um, and so when Paul F. Tompkins uh, had to bail out at the last minute, uh, I was really, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> I was really sort of strapped. I didn't have any other famous friends I could call upon. So uh, I put an ad in Craigslist. And uh, this was the first person to respond. Uh, I actually am not entirely sure what this act is going to be. Uh, he sent me references, but I did not check them. And I take full responsibility for that. Uh, but I was in a big rush. Uh, and uh, so... I guess I apologize in advance, if this is not what you were expecting, but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the spoiler. Hawaii, am I right or what? 
Any of you guys go to Hawaii today? I did. This movie's called The Usual Suspects. It came out in 1995. Directed by Brian Singer. A detective interviews mild-mannered verbal Kent about a criminal mastermind named Kaiser Soze. The spoiler? Soze is full of an umlaut. <laughs> You know what they say. Cogito ergo spoil. Yeah. I was a philosophy major. Next movie is called The Sixth Sense. Came out in 1999. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. The child psychologist helps a boy who can see dead people. The spoiler, it turns out Bruce Willis was deaf the whole time. He couldn't hear shit. One last movie I'm going to spoil for you tonight. Just came out. <coughs> this movie is called The Social Network. <laughs> it's directed by David Fincher. It's about Mark Zuckerberg, who designs a website that revolutionizes human interaction on the web. The spoiler is Facebook. <laughs> Okay, I think, uh, I think that went really well. Take that, Paula Tompkins. <laughs>